Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today I bring you a hopefully a fun little video of a very large caveat. The fun little video is that we're going to be talking about the most expensive cards coming around from Lost Origin. The giant caveat is do not believe the prices. Believe the cards, believe the order. Believe that the prices that I'm giving you are the current prices. But I did bring you that video a few days back telling you to stop buying cards from Lost Origin. That absolutely still counts. Wait until the set's been out a little while and then go and buy singles. I'm assuming at some point next week I will probably bring you a, a video about how the prices are crashing, and we can look at what's happening to the prices, see how fast they're falling, that's the goal. But right now is not the best time to buy. But that's not the point. The point is an awful lot of people have started asking me, well, see, what are the money cards from the set? What are the best cards? What are the big cards, etc." So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And I am going to give you values, because I think a video like this needs to have the values on them. But as I've told you, the prices at the moment are too high. It's a terrible time to buy. I would not recommend buying singles for a few days yet. With all of that borne in mind, and I should say TCG Player, eBay, they're the main places we're looking for prices here. I've looked around a few other places, but TCG Player and eBay are the main places I'm looking. So with all of that borne in mind, let's start off with a few that just missed the list, like the gold VMAXs of Pikachu and Mew that are both generally coming in at around about $30. These are cool cards. They are amazing cards. Do bear in mind that the gold cards from the other two sets that have had trainer galleries of both, all four of those cards have settled at like two bucks. And sure, these are Pikachu and Mew. They ain't getting that low. But $30, it's, it's still way too high. I wouldn't recommend it personally. But that's not the point, ladies and gentlemen. That's not the point. These are currently $30 cards and they just missed the list. So did the regular Giratina V-Star. The regular Giratina V-Star. Obviously, there are these fancier, shinier versions that are on the list. We'll get to them in a minute. But, like, genuinely, the regular version of Giratina V-Star is a $35 card. Why? Because it's going to be, like, the best deck in the format. And it really is as simple as that. Right now, all the testing that we are seeing is telling us that this is... Well just ridiculous $35 card incredibly playable so you know what this is one you need to keep an eye on interestingly enough gold Hasuian Zoroark V-Star doesn't make the list that's trending at like a $25 card which means that somehow the regular version of Giratina is far more sought after than the gold version of Hisuian Zoroark but the answer basically is that Hisuian Zoroark doesn't look like a great deck and Giratina really 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 does uh, also, the character super rare of Pikachu V from the trainer gallery, that's trending at about a $40 card at the moment. Incidentally, where there are a few times where two cards have got the same approximate value, it's because I'm rounding to the nearest $5 to make it easier. Do please bear in mind that those cards, when, when I've got them listed at the same value, I have made sure to have a good look around places and make sure that they are listed in the right order, even though the prices might look the same. So the character Super Rare of Pikachu V, again, this is one I expect to drop pretty fast. But at the moment, it's trending high enough to put it on the list. So in at number 10, we've got the alternate art of Galarian Berserker V. And this is a pure artwork card. It's here for the artwork and no other real reason. It's here because it's a beautiful card. It's not expected to be a particularly great or playable card, but you've got an alternate Art V, and bearing in mind the pull rates on the alternate Art Vs are generally pretty low anyway, and this has adorable artwork, and that's how it gets on the list. In at number 9, again at about a $40 card, is the Rainbow Rare of Gudra V-Star. Do bear in mind there is no gold Gudra V-Star, so this is the fanciest version of it. And there is, at the moment, a fair degree of hype around Gudra V-Star, and that's why this ends up making the list. 
It's got a nice attack that means you do 80 less or take 80 less damage next turn. Plus, you've got other ways to reduce the damage. Plus, you've got an ability that completely heals all damage from this Pokemon. And people are looking at this as a real tanky deck moving forward. Maybe it will end up being a really good tanky deck moving forward. Maybe it won't. All I can tell you is that at the moment, the Rainbow Rare version is trending pretty expensive. In at number 8, we've got the alternate art of Rotom V. And on the one hand, I actually really like Rotom as a card. I really like the ability to draw three cards and end your turn. Because actually, there are going to be times where that's just going to get you set up and rolling. And that's awesome. So I do like the ability. But this is another artwork thing. The alternate art Pokemon V tend to jump up in price pretty quickly. Rotom's a moderately popular Pokemon. And it's actually an amazing card. You can see a bunch of item cards from the Pokemon TCG just kind of chilling around there like there's an escape rope right about halfway up on the very right hand side of the card I'm not going to tell you any others you can spot them yourself but the point is oh and also all the appliances that Rotom might inhabit are also in the card it is a stunning card it's one that I'm looking to pick up but when it drops below $45 now in at number seven we've got the full art of Lady not the Rainbow Rare again. Rainbow Rares do not get the same value. The only Rainbow Rares on the list are Gudra, because it's the fanciest version of the V-Star. And the obvious one we'll get to in a minute. But full art supporter cards we like. Now, female full art supporters over in Japan do really start demanding a premium. It's not the same thing over here. Lady is quite a popular card. And, you know, you search for energy and some decks want to get lots of energy in their hand, blah, blah, blah. This is more just, it is the female supporter from the set that people like the most. Kind of as simple as that. It's the only one that makes a list anyway. In at number six, we've got the full art of Giratina V. And basically what we've got here is a fancy version of a phenomenal card. Again, Giratina V Star looks to be the best deck in the game, or at least one of them moving forward. Here you've got the full art of the Pokemon V. It's not the best version. There's another version that comes higher up on the list. But this is still a fancy version of a phenomenal card. And that's why it's attracting the value. Speaking of which, in at number 5. And this is the first real jump up to $75. We've got the Rainbow Rare of Giratina V Star. So we went from 40 to 55 from 10 to 6. From 6 to 5, we've jumped $20, where we only went $15 so far in the list. This is where we start really jumping up in value. And basically, I've told you that Giratina V-Star is a phenomenal deck. Uh, free energy, 280 damage. That's KO's V-Star. If you've got 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone, instant KO with a V-Star power for 2 energy. It's really the support that makes this so good. Go, go check out the video I did on Giratina V-Star where I go more into the support. Point is, Giratina V-Star is stunning and people are going to play a lot of it. But this is the Rainbow Rare version. It's cool. But it's not quite as good as the Gold version, which comes in at number 4. And these are actually very close. I've listed them both at $75. I've listed them at 4 and 5. I think think the gold is trending slightly higher but we've seen this in previous sets the gold and the rainbow rare v stars even though the gold are rarer there's really not much in it price wise this is a pretty standard thing we've seen for a couple of sets now so basically all you need to know is that giratina is amazing and you're going to pay about 75 dollars right now for either the rainbow rare or the gold do expect the price to fall, but if Giratina is as good as we think, maybe it's not going to fall as much as we'd like. Now, in at number three is the alternate art of Aerodactyl, and this is one of the best artworks in the entire set. Outside of my artists like Okacheke and Haiganosuke that I absolutely adore, this is the best artwork in the set. It's Aerodactyl flying around with loads of other fossil Pokemon chilling. It is Stunning artwork, and unfortunately, I'm not the only one that noticed. And what that means is everybody wants this card, and the value is going through the roof. It's currently trending at $80. I'm confused with this card, because most of the alternate arts don't get that high. Even Palkia, which is a crazy playable card, is, is sitting at like a $50 card. It's not that expensive. 
But let's not forget that Machamp went absolutely nuts. Now, that was pretty much due to a buyout. And it, at some point, you've got to imagine it's probably going to even out. But it is important to note. It is important to note. So that's that. In a number two, we've got the Trainer Gallery card, Pikachu V Max, the character Super Rare. Interestingly enough, the only one of the Trainer Gallery that actually makes it onto the list, although as I told you, both the Pikachu V character Super Rare and both the Pikachu and Mew V Max Gold cards did come close. This is currently trending as a $90 card. And I don't think the pull rates are low enough in the Trainer Gallery for this to hold. Now, it is an amazing card with Pikachu and Red and all of that. And it's never going to be a crazy cheap card. But one of the things we've seen is that the character Super Rares in English, because of the pull rates of the Trainer Gallery, are just not... They don't go up to that level. You know, we've seen that the Umbreon V Max, the alternate art from Evolving Skies, is like a $400 card. But the character Super Rare from Brilliant Stars, the Trainer Gallery, is a $20 card. And I think putting those two cards side by side with the value kind of makes my point. There's no way this stays as a $90 card. It's probably not going to drop that low. Maybe it's going to end up above Umbreon. But bearing in mind, the Super Fancy Umbreon VMAX is a $400 card. The character Super Rare is a $20 card. That should tell you what you need to know about these Trainer Gallery cards. They don't get that high in value. It's like how the other gold cards are $2 cards, but the Pikachu V Max gold card is currently a, a $30 card, as is the Mew. Nah, that is not holding. And then in at number one, you probably all guessed, it's the alternate art Giratina V, which is currently trending as a $200 card. Yowza. And, and again, it's, it's Giratina V. It's the best version of it. It's all you need to know. Is it going to remain this high? Again, Palkia V is a very, very, very good card. And that is like a $50 card. Most of these alternate arts don't get above $50. And there are exceptions. Maybe Giratina's one of them. But I would be very surprised if Giratina long-term settled over $100. It could. It absolutely could. But it's no more playable than Palkia was when Palkia came out. And is Giratina really that much more popular than Palkia? Is the artwork that much better? Maybe it is. But as I've been saying since the beginning of the video, caution. I do think this is a good list. And I do think the 14 cards I've shouted out on this video are the ones you really should be looking out for. I just think that the values I'm showing you in this video are massively inflated. And like I've said, if you're watching this video going, ah, oh, wossy has got a point. That's a great card. I need to pick that up. Pick it up, ladies and gentlemen. But do me a favor. Wait a couple of weeks. Let the value go down. Save yourself a bunch of money. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the top 10 cards in terms of value. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me which of these cards you're looking for. Have you pulled any of them? Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games and all kinds of fun stuff. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, Join our Discord and chat with us. And we give shout-outs to people like the lovely Taylor Ward, one of our newer Patreons, who is a very lovely person. So thank you for the support, and thank you for being a very lovely person. But by far, the most important thing is always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.